Okay, the master switch control panel is actually right by the entrance door and it's all of this. You will first find a 110 receptacle that you can use to plug in the, uh, the air compressor uh, that is right by in the next compartment bay. Uh, keep in mind this is a GFCI outlet protected so if there is no power could be because GFCI has actually tripped it could be the one in the bathroom. Uh, also there is one up here in the faucet. These are all the controls. The porch is actually the outside light. This light fixtures are actually the inside light fixtures. So if I press this one, the roof light will go on. And then if I press the other one, the vanity lights over the kitchen will go on. Uh, this is the entry step. Basically, if you have it on, what it will happen is that it will only close when you start the engine. And once it opens, you can open and close the engine, the entry door, anytime you want. Not, no problem, it's going to stay up. But the minute you start the engine, it's going to retract that amount of it. You have the water pump. So this will actually be used to pressurize the water line. So if you're using water from the tank, this is what you need to turn on to be able to get pressure on the pump getting the water into all the faucets. Uh, this that says luggage, this actually turns power to the lights in all the storage bay, all the luggage compartments. Keep in mind that the fact that you turn this on does not necessarily mean that you actually have the lights on. Each light has their own switch. But this way you know that you're not going to be draining the battery. Uh, here you have the awning, so when you press the out, the awning, and as you see up here, the awning starts moving out. As you use the awning, you can let it stay out all the length of the awning, or you can actually stop it before the end. Once you get to the end of the roll, you will notice that the awning is stretched. You also have, and I'm going to show you uh, here in a second, you also have spots to actually change the incline grade of the awning. That means that the awning should never be straight, should always be uh, a little bit out of an incline, so if there's any water pulling on it, it would actually drip on the side. Now, you should always keep in mind that the awning needs to be stored when you're not in the motorhome and it needs to be stored in a rainstorm. Winds, rain, anything will affect the awning. So you want to make sure that you bring it in. To bring it in, you press the end button and it will automatically start bringing it in. The awning will work even if you have the batteries disconnected and you have no power. It's set so if there's any reason why you need to bring the awning in, you always can do it. As you see the awning is coming back in. And last but not least, the last button is the water heater. When you turn it on, the light will go on and after a few seconds the light will go off. The light could be on for a little bit off for a little bit but if it start blinking that means that the water heater is not working once you turn on the water heater like right now there's no lights in it means that it's working and the water heater will be able to heat up some water uh, in about 20 minutes or so if you want uh, to take a shower be aware you need to balance between the hot water and the cold water the water out of the water heater is really warm really hot actually so you don't have to worry about how much water you have left. Quick showers, you will be fine with the water heater. Long showers, you will be taking a shower with the cold water. So, with that, uh, this is all the master